welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be organizing my entire kitchen. I don't know about you guys, but after the holidays, everything became a disaster, especially in this kitchen. So that is why this is the first things I wanna tackle. So as you can tell by everything behind me, I went to the container store, Ikea, Target, and I got all of the stuff to help me organize this kitchen. Just like little things that are very affordable, nothing too crazy, but just some stuff that I think will help make this kitchen look so much more spick and span. So if you guys would like to see it, just keep on watching. All right, so the first cabinet I'm starting on is my main cabinet. I have all my Tupperware here, all of my main dishes, and a lot of the Tupperware I'm actually gonna throw away because I literally only have three left. I have no idea where the other ones went. They kind of just vanished weird. So I went to Target, of course, and I got some new Tupperware from Ikea too, and I got this little organizer again from Target. I just thought it would be useful to like stack all of those lids up nicely. So pop it in here to thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video. So if you've been following me for a while, you definitely heard of them before. I use their prenatals all throughout my pregnancy with Ember, also postnatals, and now I'm taking Ritual's Essentials for Women. So 2023, I'm starting this year off strong, trying to be the healthiest version of myself as possible. And what better way to take the clear first steps towards your health goals by making the switch to clean, traceable products with Ritual. Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin, reimagining health from the ground up and takes the guesswork out of vitamins. It contains nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3 that are difficult to get enough of every day, even with a healthy diet. They are vegan friendly, no GMO, gluten free, allergen free, and contains no added sugar. They also have men's multivitamins, 50 plus, prenatals, postnatals, kids and teen vitamins. So start the new year off on the right foot with the support of traceable, high quality, science-backed products you can trust and get a massive 30% off your first month with Ritual by going to ritual.com slash ElizabethR30 and use my code ElizabethR30 at checkout. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Okay, so next up is this silverware drawer. Look at this, it needs some help. It has too much going on. So of course, the first thing I gotta start with is just by clearing everything out of here. And then I'm gonna go in with my Dyson and vacuum up all of those crumbs. So I pretty much just wanted to clean the utensil holder because that gets really crusty because I don't clean that often. And then I added two of these containers that I got from Ikea to just do a little bit more organizing so everything doesn't just slide everywhere like how it was in the before clip. And then of course I had to declutter some stuff and rehome things that didn't need to be in this drawer. Okay, and now for the spices. I haven't had the spice cabinet look this bad in a very long time. I'm kind of ashamed of myself that it got this bad, but thankfully we're gonna change that today.
So I got these white bins from Ikea and I think they're the perfect size to just make everything less cluttered here because obviously whatever I was doing just wasn't cute. And I had to declutter some stuff, throw things away, and now it looks like this, yay. So earlier today, I went to the container store and I found the perfect thing to hold my knives. Before this, they were slipping and sliding and now it just looks nice and secure. So now moving on to my unesthetic, unorganized, very cluttered pantry. Of course, I'm starting this off like the rest. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of here so that way I can just have a good slate to work with. Of course, I didn't take every single thing out, but I took most of it out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start refilling some stuff. So it's hard to explain, but I am organizing everything in each bin and kind of having categories for everything like pasta, the protein, the oils, the peanut butters, the cereal. I actually bought some more while I was at Ikea because I only had like three or four and I needed to get extras And then here's how it came out. I love, I feel like it looks so much better than before. I feel like I have a system. I can easily see everything I want. And then since everything was just so white, I definitely wanted to add some warmth and some black and some see-through just to make everything pop. And I feel like it looks so good. This is the kids cabinet and we have like our mugs and glassware. And I just got to declutter some stuff and reorganize everything. Okay, so next up is this fridge. It's definitely not that bad. I feel like I have a little bit of groceries, not like that much, but I definitely did go to Trader Joe's the other day, so I have a few. And I just went ahead and took all of those out because I really didn't organize it and put it away properly. So I'm gonna do that. But first I wanna go ahead and give this refrigerator a good wiping. So I'm just using all purpose cleaner and a paper towel to get it done. And then I've actually had these containers for a very long time. These are all from the container store. They come in handy so much. I use them all the time. And they just make everything look crystal clear and just so much more neater in the fridge.
And then since Eric is a Diet Coke king, I wanted to display his Diet Cokes in a more aesthetic way. So I went ahead and popped those right there. And then this is how it looks. So much better. Like every house has one of these grocery bag doors where you kind of just stuff them in and forget about them properly except Californians sorry about that guys but here's mine so I'm gonna make this my ziploc drawer and my grocery bag drawer I do use these grocery bags for embers diapers so I do love them and I use them all the time guess that's what I get for leaning into the best run so this was right after the holidays my trash bins look so gross so i'm gonna be cleaning them out with of course my dawn power wash i love this stuff i use it all the time you guys know that but i'm just gonna go ahead and spray this down with really hot water and just kind of rinse away don't worry i know it's a little gross this is my kitchen sink i'm gonna clean the kitchen sink too in just a little bit clean out the sink i went ahead and sprayed dawn power wash everywhere and i'm going to be mixing the two i like to use the scrub daddy paste the power paste and i also finally got a rag for my sink yay it finally looks complete now but i went ahead and scrubbed away until it was nice and clean Rinse it with hot water and now voila, clean again. And then this is the last thing I'm gonna be organizing tonight. This is all of my cleaning products, everything I use to clean this kitchen. And I actually didn't get anything new. I just went ahead and cleaned what I already had, reorganized it, and now it looks just so much better. So now that pretty much everything is organized, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these counters really good. I'm gonna use the Scrub Daddy Power Paste because my countertops are actually very like, I don't know, like I wouldn't wanna stay stained because they don't stain because of the Power Paste I use, but they definitely do leave some marks that need a little bit of extra scrubbing. So I'm using that to clean out the counters and I'm gonna go ahead and restock everything and just give everything a wipe down. And that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys found some motivation from watching and are inspired to clean and reorganize your kitchen for the new year. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, consider subscribing to keep up with all of my latest videos. And if you do, ring the bell. And if you haven't already, ring the bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.